All right, this video, I'm back on the short block and I'm working on the oiling system. I've, I've attached the oil pump, I got the pickup tube, and I have this uh, later model from a GT500 uh, windage tray slash oil pan uh, gasket. One of the most under, overlooked uh, clearances, in my opinion, is the oil pickup tube clearance, and that's the clearance from the pickup tube to the oil pan. And uh, I'm going to try and see what that is right now. Uh, I'm going to take this off, get the oil pan on here, and just kind of check it before I start carving into this gasket. Okay, for the pan, I'm using this Ultra Power part number 264463 pan. Right, looking at this pan, it's a pretty good pan. It's a factory style pan. You may need to cut these uh, scrapers off of here. Also has provisions for the older uh, 4.6s that had a low oil level sensor on here. Yeah, so they're touching. I'm gonna have to grind those off of there. Now I want to see if uh, if this is the smaller one, and I want to check and see if I'm uh, if I'm in the right ballpark with this smaller one, or if I need to get. Uh, get to find a bigger one or maybe extend this thing out. I got a couple of M6 by 1.0 by 20 millimeter uh, screws to put in here. Just gonna kind of hold this in place. I measure this, it's nothing really scientific. I, I use some Play-Doh, I take a little ball of it, I put it on the uh, pickup tube, and then I, I'm gonna put the oil pan back down on there. So. What I don't want with this style pickup tube, it's all open. There's a little bit of mesh on there. Uh, I don't want the uh, Play-Doh going down inside there. So I'm gonna put a little bit of piece of tape on here just to make sure it doesn't go down inside. And here's a closer look at the ball of Play-Doh. I got the tape on there to keep it out of the uh, mesh. Uh, now I'm just gonna set the oil pan down on top of it. Use a tape measure and kind of get an idea of where it's at. And it's about three quarters of an inch. Uh, without the oil pan gasket, I want to be closer to a half an inch. So I am going to have to raise this up or get the taller one, and then we'll see how it fits with the uh, gasket on there. Okay, so I'm just going to unscrew this hex up a little bit and raise it up. Yeah, I'm going to check it again. Okay, so that's getting closer, so I'm going to pull this off and then put the uh, gasket back on here and see how, it, see how the clearance is. Okay, so I know that I'm getting close here. I've still got uh, probably another inch here. I know I'm going to have to make some cuts, so I'm going to Try and line this up and then uh, mark this so I know where to cut. Okay, here's my first whack at it. I made a cut along here and then I cut up around here. Shouldn't affect the uh, structural integrity. This is still pretty solid. Now we'll see how the tube fits on here. Okay, so looking at this, that's a fits really well. I think that's all I'm going to have to do, which is great. Okay, now that I got this pickup tube clearing the windage tray pretty well, uh, I'm going to double check the oil pan. I went ahead and cut off those two uh, windage things that are on here. Just so make sure you blow this out really well and wipe it out real good. Okay, this fits really good, so that amount of cutting was fine. Now I'm going to put the pickup tube back on here. Okay, I got a little M8 by 125 by about 15 millimeters. I'm gonna put that on into the hex to kind of hold that in place. Okay, I got my pickup tube snugged down uh, on both the oil pump side and on the hex side. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put the pan on there. Got my Play-Doh on, I'm gonna go ahead and squish that down. And I'm going to check the height on that. 
and we're at about a half an inch so I want to come down a little bit okay so by down if I need less space I'm gonna have to come uh, in this position I have to come up with the pickup tube so I got a little half inch spacer I'm gonna put that on there you could use washers some M8 washers if you want and I'm gonna go ahead and torque that to 20 foot-pounds Okay, I got the windage tray back on, the oil pickup tube back on. I put a little bit of oil around the pickup tube O-ring, uh, snug these bolts down, uh, put the oil on there just in case this is the last time that it goes on. So now I'll check the clearance one more time. And that is right at just under a half an inch. Is where I like it. Okay, so with the oil pickup tube clearance set, we can take off our tape and our Play Doh. I'm going to torque this screw back here to 20 foot pounds. And the two screws up here on the oil pump are going to go to 100 inch pounds. Okay, with everything torqued, I'm just going to check it one more time. And we are still right where we need to be, right under a half an inch. All right, before I put the oil pan on and finish this oiling system, I want to rotate this crankshaft around just to make sure nothing is rubbing anywhere. Alright, there's no clearance issues. Uh, everything's torqued down. Go ahead and put the oil pan on. Make sure you removed anything from your pickup tube, your uh, Play-Doh and your, your tape. Alright, I got some of these black phosphate uh, 10.9 rated MA 1.25 by 25. I'm going to put these in there. I'm not going to bolt these. I'm not going to torque these down. I'm just going to kind of snug them down for right now because I'll, I'll end up torquing them down once I get the covers on the front and the back. Oh, right, well, there it is. The oiling system for the short block is on. Got the oil pan in. Uh, oil pump bolted on there. Stay tuned for more. I'm going to turn this into a, a complete long block uh, to go into a uh, late SN95 uh, Cobra, a new edge Cobra.